Good morning my lovelies. Loads to do today. I need to clean my bedroom today. I've just put my bedding in a washing machine. I have to go to the post office and then I have to go to the chemist to pick up my HRT. Look what I've bought. So I've been looking for new teasing comb because mine is in such a bad state. Let me find it. So I used to love this one from Lee Stafford. But I don't know if you can see it, it's like missing, missing lots of teeth. So I'm gonna throw it away. Um, I don't know why I've got two. Okay, so i tell you what happens. Um, do you know like some websites? I sometimes go on website and virtually shop so i will put things in a basket but not necessarily purchase them that day i think about it then i might come back to it remove some things add some things till i eventually decide to make a purchase and um, some of these websites just keep that stuff in your basket even if you come back a week later two weeks later that stuff is still in a basket so the other day i think it's look fantastic Dot com I was shopping on there and I obviously already had some things in the basket and I was removing some adding some and I've ended up with things that I forgot I've added to this basket but didn't really want to buy anyway <laughs> so I've got two um, teasing combs this one is from Denman so again you see the idea is you have like three rows of teeth so let's see how this one does Yeah, that's quite good actually and you can do it so gently with this but this one is very interesting this one is from tango teaser so it has like two rows of really long teeth and then it's got three rows in between of shorter um, teeth and it's got that a rat's tail as well so let's see how this one works Oh, that's even better, I think, because of these long teeth. You can get right in there. So my hair is in terrible state. Oh my God, that is really good. Like it. So happy with it. But I've got two now, it doesn't matter. I should wash my hair, but um, I'm doing cleaning and stuff today, so it's not worth it. So I bought that and I also, I get obsessed now and again with brow products because I hate doing my brows. You probably see me sometimes when I do full face when I don't have my brows. I mean, they are just like a thin line. My hair is quite dark, but very, very thin. So I have to draw so much and I have a tutorial always linked in um, under every video how I do my brows and I do it very similar. So I saw someone raving about, I don't know this company, WB Co got a box for it. <laughs> it's white. Anyway, it's all looking very eco. Brow soap. So there it, there it is. It's supposed to, you know I bought that Anastasia similar thing and i didn't like it but people said this was like better than anastasia so i basically soap up my brows with this to put them in place and then do my pencil but um i don't know i have to try it for longer pointless buying it um there was some other stuff in there i got the bleach london reincarnation mask bleach london is very good for blonde and damaged hair so i'm going to try that and imagine my surprise when i was opening this parcel there was some other little stuff that i found in there natasha denona camel palette <laughs> i obviously at some point um thought that i want this palette put it in that basket and then I didn't take it out so I have and I have that on today and I really like it it's nothing special but like an everyday 
brown palette and it is it is on a coolish side but this um, this shimmery shadow is a bit warmer sort of camel color so I really like it yeah, it's a really lovely everyday quick palette so I'm glad I've got it now but I didn't know it was coming <laughs> So remember to watch this video to the end because I will be announcing the winner of that threefold mirror later on. Also, what I thought I'm going to do is sort out my brushes. So now I've got lots of brushes. And remember I bought these from um, not home sense the range I have two of those so these are my eye brushes and as you can see it's a ridiculous amount love it but so in this one I have like my best brushes so in here in this middle one I've got all Rifa brushes in here I have some Sonia G and Wayne Ghost then I've got a bit of Natasha Denona Louise Young couple of my MAC ones um, so these are my best brushes so I have them almost arranged in by brand but I actually find it quite difficult because there is so many <laughs> to find the type of brush that I need so I think what I should do instead of organizing it by brand organize them by purpose so like crease brushes from all those brands together blending brushes then like little pencil brushes I think I have to do it that way because otherwise I always look for ages for each brush and it's probably because there is too many of them right I'm going to stick my hair up and go and do my stuff look what I just did so I've cooked my favorite butternut squash and red pepper soup I think I actually have a video how I make it um, I'll my link it and I've put them in these little tabs those tabs are sometimes um, I buy in a local farm shop different flavor soups and I've saved these tabs so now I can freeze my soup I've got loads of them so that's what I've been going I'm, I'm harvesting <laughs> Like the world is on a side Nothing can bring me down tonight And ooh, baby When we're together, you and I Your touch sends chills down my spine All right, hey, I got a brand new love you Hello my lovelies, it's a beautiful day today, it's a bit chilly but not too chilly, I know when it's really cold because then I definitely have to wear a scarf, so we are doing our usual walk, I even have sunglasses because it's so sunny, not here <laughs> under the trees, when I get home I try to do it today but if not today I want to show you a few things that I bought, I found these amazing jeans they are more like jeggings but jeans I will explain to you at home but I'm wearing one pair today so I get Paul to show you I'll just do it straight has a bit of 
this, these ones have a bit of this dressing. And I bought two more pairs. I will explain at home, I'll maybe get the mirror out again and explain to you the difference between. Yeah, so maybe when I get home, I will show it to you. I bought some jumpers as well. Right, we are back from our walk. On my eyes today, I have all matte look and it's done with Tom Ford Coco Mirage. I just fancied all matte look today. Okay, so let's talk about the jeans. So the story is, when I was doing my wardrobe clear out, I was trying all my black jeans to see which ones I want to keep, which ones I don't. And I put this one pair on and I thought, oh my God, they are so lovely and so comfortable. I can't remember where I got them from. Did not have any recollection of owning this pair of jeans. So I don't know if I maybe bought them last winter, right at the end and didn't wear them so much, but they were like the most comfortable, lovely jeans. So I looked at the label and he said, Tifosi, Tifosi, Tifosi. So of course I put my investigator hat on and <laughs> went googling. So I found them, so they are Portuguese and it's no wonder because you know my other f most favorite brand of jeans is Salsa and they are Portuguese as well. And you can buy them straight from Pro Portugal, amazing service, delivery, sending back, no problem. But these ones, if I went on the Portuguese site, they didn't ship to UK. But I found them in like all odd online shops. And this particular shop was in Ireland. And it's not like a, um, you know, huge online retailer. I think they are physical store in Ireland. I think it's Donahue's or something like this. I will leave you the link. But I found them all there. So basically they are called double up one size fits all. So these are like a hybrid of legging, um, sorry, jeans and jeggings. When I think of jeggings, I think jeans fabric but just pull on things like leggings but these ones have proper zip and buttons so in that respect they are like jeans but they fit like leggings if you know what I mean so they are very skinny fit obviously it's one size fits all that's not strictly true because if you look 
in the description it fits from size UK 8 to UK 14 I think but then they do uh, what are they called once they fit also um, bigger sizes anyway when you first get them so these ones that these are the ones that I was wearing today these ones are not double up double up means that they were they have a bit wider waistband and two buttons and that's what I'm wearing right now I've changed into those so I will show you in a minute I've dragged my mirror here um, but when you look at them when you get them obviously these already stretched a bit because I was wearing them but when you first get them out of the bag they are like this they look tiny you think they will never fit me but they stretch like every way and um, also not these ones I can't remember what these ones are called but these ones are not the double up I will leave you the link to every pair that I have so you can see the difference so the ones with the distressed bit are not double up and I prefer the double up so this is another pair and these are double up let me do them up so you can actually see it so these ones are really dark dark blue can you see how the waistband is thicker and has two buttons and I love the rise of them as well they are not too high waisted because i don't like really high waisted they sit just on your belly button and that is the rise that i like the most so these ones have a bit of distress on the bottom if you can see they are sort of ripped but it's not a raw hem and then the ones that i'm wearing are a bit lighter and have raw hem so i'll show them to you um, in a minute the double up have what they call this bum shaping thing so they have this um stitching here that's supposed to you know lift your bum a bit so that's lovely as well they are so comfortable honestly they don't dig in at all i am uk size 12 normally depends where i buy it from sometimes i'm 10 but i am i think good uk size 12 um, on the bottom they f they fit absolutely wonderfully and they are so comfortable it's just like wearing leggings so I really love them and I'm not surprised because it looks like the Portuguese are very good at their jeans then I I've been buying you know this is not all bought in one week um, because of course I've cleared out my wardrobe I need new things now more things <laughs> So from the same shop that Donna Hughes, I think, I think I'm not saying this right, I looked at other things that they sell and I found this gorgeous jumper from Goa Goa because it was just different. Look at that. I love this color. It's a bit more blue than... What I see in the real life is a bit more jade. I think it's a lovely colour, but I love this embellishment with pearls. So when I saw that, I thought, well, I have to have it. The problem is on that website you don't get very good description or on all the products, and this one didn't say much about it at all. So I just bought it, but when it But when it came and I tried it on, I love how it looks, but oh my God, it was itchy. So I am fine with cashmere, but wool and mohair, wool and mohair, I can't stand. But I loved it so much. I thought, do you know what? I think I will have to put up with itching because I like it so much. But what I did when we went to town, at the weekend I found from All Saints this really really thin long sleeve it's almost like a um, layering top look how thin it is you can see right through it so I thought I could wear that under this jumper 
and then it won't itch me. <laughs> so that's how I solved the itching problem. So I will show you that in a minute. Then I bought from So Sanda this nice beige jumper. Nothing special, but it's nice and warm and if it's really nice, it's nice and soft. And then I got, have you heard of Brand Alley? It's a website you have to sort of sign up and they are like discount designer stuff and you can find really good deals. So I found this cashmere jumper from Scott & Scott, which is very expensive. I think the original price of this was £300. I know ridiculous, but it is well-known name, Scott & Scott London. But I got it for 100 or something like that. So, and they did them in different colors, different designs. So as you can see, it's a nice gray with this bright pink star. So that's all I bought, clothes-wise, and I really don't think I need any more. These jeans I love, I just wear them every day, different pair every day. And also, because they are so skinny, they are so good for boots, you know, in the winter, you don't want your jeans to be too bunchy on your lower legs, so you can't fit them in boots. So let me just try these on. Okay, so these are the jeans. Can you see with the double button and my belly button is just here and can you see this stitching is supposed to make your bum a bit lifted and these ones are the ones with Rohem these are my slippers from last year that I got at um, Oisho they're not available this year so don't ask me but they're really cute so here's the jumper it's itchy it's a bit itchy. I have such a sensitive skin when it comes to itchy jumpers, but I think that top that I can wear underneath was sorted out. But I just felt it was a bit different. Okay, let me put the other one on now. So this is the So Sanda beige jumper. Nothing special, but it's really warm. You could even wear, you know, nice um, vest top with it, maybe with a bit of a trim or something it's just nice and warm and comfortable they did them in two other colors there was beautiful pale blue but it sold out so the sleeves are not that long actually but that's fine so yeah that's this one and here is the cashmere one it's sort of can you see boxy which I love this is just so much my, my style you know all relaxed and um, yeah I just really really like it and I love that star I might go and see if they have any more of this no I don't need any more <laughs> I don't need any more jumpers but like I said you know what it's like when you like something you think well how can you not buy it if you like it so much so there you go. <laughs> I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, my lovelies. So this morning I've used that conditioner I've shown you earlier uh, from Bleach London Resurrection mask and I left it for about 15 minutes. I put like a, you know, plastic cap on my head and it does make your hair feel really, really soft. So I quite like it. I wouldn't say that it is something amazing something that I've never used before but it's a really good mask also um, I've used the back combing combs and I'm not sure which one I prefer you know I had one from the Tangle Teaser this really weird looking one that's what I've used today but then I tried the other one from Denman that was good as well so I think maybe the Tangle Teaser might be better if you've got longer hair I'm not sure but they're both really good look what I got through the post balsam hill catalog I absolutely love love balsam hill very expensive but that's where my current Christmas trees are from the one that I usually have here um, I bought a couple of years ago 
and the one that I have now in the living room I bought last year and I used it at Christmas last year and they are so realistic looking and they already have lights on it's just they are brilliant and they and they um oh oh god my timer is just gonna I'm boiling some eggs um and they uh, decorations are so beautiful but they are so expensive like um this crystal glass bubble set set of 35 189 pounds and that's discounted so yeah i would even though they are so beautiful i would definitely not buy well maybe some i would buy i don't know <laughs> but they are beautiful beautiful great quality they do like smaller trees as well day trees i think this is my tree yeah fraser fair that's mine the middle one it's a frosted one um and i think mine is six and a half foot with 500 clear led lights i'm sure i didn't pay that much money for it though i must have bought it on some sale but you know they trees are just so realistic looking beautiful and they do some lights as well look at that one doesn't that look real so because i got this brochure i sort of got excited for christmas <laughs> um I think I need to look at things like that to excite me. So I'm going to go soon to, I might go before we go away. Because when you're watching this video on Monday, we will be going away that day. Uh, so, and my birthday is this uh, Saturday on the 30th of October. So I might go before we go away. Mm, I don't know. I think I'll be okay to go. A bit busy, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, I forgot to tell you, that was a while ago now. I am in a Raquel Welch wig catalogue for 2021 collection. Not just me. Uh, there is a lot of influencers here. I am right here on the top. Not happy about that. They've cut my head off. Um, you might recognize some other ladies. Taz is here. There is Taz. So yes, I'm going to keep it. I would like to have a spread like this. <laughs> Be a wig model. I would love that. Can you imagine? Just playing with all these wigs. Raquel Wild is so beautiful and she looks absolutely gorgeous in any style of wig. Long, short, medium, curly, straight, she's just beautiful. I haven't been having much luck with technology lately, so I'm just looking now at uh, my... I have a... My, my laptop next to me which I connect to the camera so I can see myself on a bigger screen because obviously the viewfinder is really small and I can control stuff on here like then turn it on turn it off so I don't have to reach for the camera and I can control as well my lighting and stuff like that and I switched it on today and it's not working and I am such a technophobe I only know what I know <laughs> and I don't know how to sort it out. I also have bought new vlogging camera, DJI Pocket 2. It's a tiny little thing because when we go for walks, I take my little backpack to put Louis water in, some snacks, and my, um, my vlogging camera, which is this one I usually use, and then it's got this. It's quite big, heavy to put in a bag. 
So I got this tiny, tiny little camera and I was so happy with it. I opened it, I had a play with it, but there was something wrong with it. He kept saying the SD card error, uh, the gimbal wasn't uh, working properly, so I have to send it back today. So yes, the technology is against me. Right, my lovelies, um, I don't know if I will see you, I mean, I will see you at some point at the end of this video to announce the winner of the competition for the mirror, um, but I don't know if I will do anything else. So I will see you another day. Hi, my lovelies, so it's the time to announce the winner of the mirror. Um, when I do that, I will put that in the description box with my email. So if the winner could please email me with full name and address so I can pass it on to Easy Hold and they will send the mirror directly to you. First of all, let me <laughs> tell you how I choose the winner. Um, for it to be fair, I don't go through all the, um, all the comments and choose the winner. There is an app um, but which is called random picker I think and you just put the URL of, of the video and it ger generates all the comments and I just press a button and it chooses random winner I think that's the fairest way um, so drum roll please the winner is Brenda Starnes congratulations Brenda I feel so bad because um, I've, I would like like everybody to get the mirror. <laughs> um, but yes, anyway, congratulations, Brenda. So please leave me, um, email me. Obviously, don't leave your address in the comments. Um, it's Sunday today, so um, I'm just going to go change in a minute because we are going out for my birthday dinner. So my dinner was yesterday on Saturday, but we couldn't get um, a place in a restaurant yesterday. So we are going today. I've done my makeup. Today I've got on my eyes Pat McGrath Divine Rose palette, the original one. And on my lips, I only just dab my lips slightly. Um, I've got the Lancome Ideal Lip Liner and Delilah Whisper Lipstick. Okay, my lovelies, I am going to say goodbye and go and get ready. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Stay fabulous. Bye.